These are the five scalping secrets that allowed me to flip $500 to over $9,000 in three days. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to grow a small trading account fast with scalping. The first secret is to eliminate mistakes. A lot of you want to make $100 a day or even $500 a day. But hey Brad, I want to become a profitable full-time trader. Oh yeah? Then why do you keep making the same mistakes over and over again? So in order to become a successful trader, you must learn how to eliminate your mistakes because the lesser mistakes you commit, the more closer you are to becoming a successful trader. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say these are the mistakes. So these little circles are mistakes committed by you. So this is revenge trading. So let's say that after losing streak, you continue trading even though you are supposed to stop and take a break to recharge your mind, but you continue trading. So that's the first mistake they'll commit. Second mistake you commit is forcing trades, right? Even though there's no opportunities, you still trade because you want to trade every single day. And then the third mistake could be, let's say that you are using a lot size that is way too big for your account and you end up blowing that account because of these stupid mistakes. So let's say you commit other mistakes. Let's say you have 16 mistakes. And right here on the right side, we have this thing called the success line, all right? So this is where success is. So in order to get over to the success line, to become a profitable trader who makes money on a consistent basis, you must eliminate all these mistakes and then you will be able to advance to the success line where you can finally become a successful millionaire trader. So let's say that you start getting disciplined and you start writing down your mistakes and learning from your mistakes. So you stop committing mistakes, right? So you let's say you stop committing the first mistake, gone. Second mistake, gone. Third mistake, gone. And as you reduce or rather eliminate the amount of mistakes that you commit, you are literally getting more and more closer to becoming a successful trader. So eventually, once you eliminate all the mistakes, bam, the dream of becoming a successful trader. But with that said, we are all humans. So these mistakes that you commit, they will sometimes come back to you. So you have to make sure that you eliminate it as soon as possible and do not let it hang around. Mistakes are basically losses, right? Like whenever you lose money, you are literally committing a mistake. It's always because of your own mistake. So try to eliminate these mistakes and by eliminating these mistakes, you are eliminating the amount of money that you are losing. The second mistake is to use key levers. A lot of new traders, they will get into a trade randomly anywhere just because they see price going up or they think that price is going to go up. So they will get in for a buy. You guys cannot trade like that if you want to become a consistently profitable trader. What you should do instead is to trade when price is at a key level. Example of key levels are things like your trend lines, support and resistance levels, supply and demand zones. I have literally done like a complete guide, like a full length tutorial on each of these key levels where you can check it out on my YouTube channel. But I personally prefer to use supply and demand zones. For those of you who do not know what is supply and demand, it is basically aggressive buying and aggressive selling. Let me show you what I mean on the charts. You can see in this example, there is a lot of aggressive selling at this area right here. How do we know that? Because there is multiple red candlesticks in a row, which tell us that there is a lot of sellers in the market, a lot of selling pressure and momentum pushing the price down. So over here, this is where we can draw our supply zone. So somewhere around here, this is our supply zone because there's a lot of selling pressure around here and there's multiple red candlesticks. So what you want to do after drawing your supply zone is to wait for price to come back up to this supply zone. And then that is when you can look to enter for a sell. So in this case, you can see price eventually went back up to our supply zone and we could have easily entered for our sell right here, place our stop loss above the supply zone and then place our take profit at the next key level around here. As you can see, in this case, there is multiple green candlesticks, three big green candlesticks in a row, which tell us that is a lot of buying pressure, a lot of buyers in this market pushing the price up. So in this case, what we can do is that we can draw our demand zone somewhere right around here. And the next step is for us to wait for price to come back down to this demand zone, then we can look to enter for a buy. So right now, we still be patient and wait for price to come back down right here. As soon as price come back down to this demand zone, look at what price did. Price start going up a little bit, giving us a little bit of buying pressure. Because remember, buyers 
are waiting at this demand zone. So in this case, once price came back down to this demand zone, you can look to enter for a buy somewhere right around here and look at what price did. Price actually literally ruptured and went up to the moon. Make use of this supply and demand zones. The third secret is to take the right trade. When someone asks me, how many trades do I take? Per day. I straight up know that they are a bro key. Remember, more trades does not equal to more money. When it comes to trading, I want you to focus on quality instead of quantity. Instead of taking many shitty trades in a row, focus on taking one good trade, followed by another good trade, and then another good trade like a sniper. Do not force trades just because you feel like you have to trade every single day. Do not chase trades or revenge trade or over trade. You should only be taking a trade when there is an opportunity. If there is no opportunity, stay out of the market. As simple as that. So taking the right trade will help you build up your trading skills. Imagine that trading is like a game and you are at level 1 because you are a newbie. So to level up, you have to take the right trade. And every single time you take the right trade, that one good trade, you can go up by one level. So once you level up, actually build your trading skills, you will eventually make more and more money as a trader. You go out there and learn everything that is to know about trading and then you keep applying what you learn in trading so you can gain experience. So once you have enough experience, trading actually becomes like a second nature, like a muscle memory. Oh, I seen this setup before. I know how to trade this setup because I've seen this same setup 1,000 times. Look at lawyers, doctors, professional athletes. Why do they get paid so much money? Because they have skills and they know what they are doing. So if you want to build your trading account, you have to start by building your trading skills. Money will come as a byproduct. Remember, money is a side effect. So you should never ever focus on making the most amount of money first. Focus on building your trading skills first. Then money will come. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say that success is a pill. And a pill has many different ingredients, right? And also side effects. Let's list out some of the ingredients of success. So firstly, obviously we got hard work. In order to become successful, obviously you have to work as hard as possible. People are working 9 to 5. You should be working from 9 to 12 a.m. Discipline. You need to uh, discipline to do the hard things, especially when you don't feel like it. When I wake up this morning, I do not feel like recording this video, but I do it anyways because I want to become a successful YouTuber. Oh, I don't feel like following my trading plan, but I do it anyways because that helps to build up my discipline. As a trader and in order to become successful, I know that I need discipline. And then another ingredient could be taking the right trade. Just now I talked about how important it is to take the right trade, right? And also a good trading strategy in order to become a successful trader. If you have a shit trading strategy, guess what? You won't become successful no matter how disciplined or how smart you are. So make sure you go and backtest and find that one beautiful trading strategy and then use that one high win rate trading strategy. And then you also need to practice proper risk management, right? In order not to blow your small trading account. So all of these are some of the ingredients of success. Appeal has side effects. Let's say number one, freedom. All right, I talk about this a lot. The importance of freedom in a human's life. When you actually master trading and actually become a consistently profitable trader and a successful trader like me, you'll be able to experience all types of freedom. The three main types are location freedom, which means you can work wherever you want. You can be sitting on a beach in Thailand, you can be traveling to Europe, looking at some beautiful snow and be trading. That's location freedom. There is also your time freedom. The time freedom is where you're able to work whenever you want, right? You don't have a boss to tell you that, Oh, hey bro, you have to report at uh, the office at 8 a.m. Thirdly is your financial freedom, which brings me to the next side effect, which is money, right? Money, ka baby. So obviously, when you become a successful trader, obviously money will come as a byproduct. You can see I did not list money as one of the ingredients, even though you need money to trade, right? You should never ever focus on making money first. Focus on becoming a better trader and money will come. So the third side effect, clout. 
okay as you become depending on what you want to be maybe you want to be a private person and you will have your instagram on private you don't want to share your profits or whatever then maybe you won't get this but chances are if you want to become famous you will be able to do that if you become successful if you are a shitty losing trader no one is gonna give a single solitary shit about you you will not get clout if you are a shitty trader but if you become successful trader you actually walk the talk like what i do and you actually become a successful trader then cloud come as somewhat like a byproduct this is just like my unfiltered opinion because i've managed to achieve these three things because i put in all of these ingredients right i actually work hard had the discipline to follow through then all of these things come along as like a side effect of my hard work so i want you to focus on building up your trading skills by taking one good trade at a time the fourth secret is progressive overload if you go to the gym you probably heard of this term called progressive overload so the definition of progressive overload is when you slowly increase the weight frequency or number of reps in your workout so let me give you an example you did eight bicep curls with a 10 kg dumbbell this week you should aim to do 10 reps of bicep curls with the same 10 kg dumbbells so by increasing the amount of repetitions that you do every single week this challenges your body and then allows your muscle to get bigger and stronger so to grow your small account fast you need to apply the same concept of progressive overload slowly increase your lot size as you trade and the keyword here is slowly most of you want to rush the process and try to make the most amount of money as soon as possible oh i want to become a millionaire next week in trading hey <laughs> hey trust me when i say that this mindset will actually cause you to lose more and more money so if you are trading a small account you have to increase your lot size little by little why there are two reasons number one if you increase your lot size by a lot and you lose a trade you will take a big hit to your trading account and you will lose like a big chunk of your trading account the second reason is that it actually messes up with your psychology and mindset let's say that you are risking ten dollars per trade so every single day you trade that you take you are risking ten dollars and then you start making some nice profits right you actually start making some nice profits making some money in your trading account so you start Start increasing your lot size and you start risking more money so you start risking $20 per trade right and then you make some more nice profits and then you start risking $30 per trade and then you risk $50 per trade and then eventually you risk $75 per trade this is a very good example of increasing your lot size slowly and steadily aka progressive overload however let's look at another example let's say that you have this friend named john also starts by risking ten dollars per trade right every single trade that he take he risks ten dollars on each trade and then once again he start making some nice profits but this time around the next trade that he take he risks one hundred dollars per trade so he actually lose that one hundred dollars and then he take another trade because like he feel like what i am very angry I want to revenge trade, right? I want to make back the $100 that I lose. So I'm going to take another trade and I'm going to go big. So I take another trade and risk another $100. And this time around, I risk another $100, lost that same trade. So John just lost two trades in a row, two trades. And every time he lose, he lose $100. So he lose a total of $200. And guess what? John's trading account only have $200. So he end up blowing his entire trading account. Let me tell you something. This literally messes up your psychology and your mindset now john thinks that he is the worst trader in the world and he quits trading blah, blah, blah. please guys increase your lot size slowly and steadily do not rush the process the fifth secret is to improve every day make tomorrow better than yesterday a lot of you brokies think that your life is fixed and that you cannot do anything to change the situation you are in oh. Hey Brad, I am broke, so I don't have enough money to trade. I can't trade and I can't do anything about it. Can you borrow me some money? Well, have fun staying poor. You always have a choice. Go get a job at McDonald's or something and improve or rather increase your income so that you can actually have some money to trade with. Your circumstances do not define who you are as a person. The thing about life is that there is always tomorrow. So if you made a mistake and lost money on a trade yesterday or last week or last month, guess what? Nobody cares. That's all in the past you always
always have tomorrow so do not beat yourself up just because you make a stupid mistake that causes you to lose money when trading just learn from the mistake and move on and trade better tomorrow remember life is like a video game but one day you'll be game over and the question is how did you play the game did you win or did you lose merry christmas everyone i want all of you to stop looking at the charts and go out there and spend some time with your loved ones and have a good holiday rest take this time to go reward yourself so that you can come back and destroy the charts with a clearer mind and also more motivation to keep pushing and smash the like button if you have enjoyed this video and hit on that subscribe button and also follow me on instagram at guang.e G-U-N-G dot Y-I-I. Click on this video to see a scalping strategy that will allow you to grow your small forex account super duper fast. And remember, you're just one trade away. Mwah.